Well, hello, everybody. I hope everybody had a uh, wonderful Christmas and a great New Year's. Um, we're back here with the layout, and uh, oh, sorry about that. Locomotive decided to start up there. Um, well, I just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's going on and some of the problems that I'm currently having. Um, nothing major, but you know, definitely uh, get you guys' opinion. But uh, as you can see here, I've got uh, my Conrail. And uh, I bought this unit probably, uh, it's been a while, probably six years ago for 30, 40 bucks. And uh, I've always loved Conrail, just loved the color scheme and, you know, just, just loved them. So, uh, <clears throat> I found it on eBay for really cheap and, you know, DCC and everything, uh, no sound, but, uh, so I brought it out of retirement and, uh, started running on the main line here. So last night, <clears throat> I'm, you know, got playing with it and, uh, left it and was doing some work here and somehow I bumped it and over she went down between the bench work and the window and all the way down to the floor and uh, still runs however it uh, does not run well now so it derails um, which never had any issues <coughs> excuse me I apologize I never had any issues with it derailing or anything uh, especially going around curves now it, it as soon as it starts to go into the curve it, it won't so not sure what I'm going to do with this yet if I'm going to um, you know, take it apart and try to fix it or, you know, what. So, I'm not sure what I'm going to do on that aspect of things yet. Um, yeah, I'll show you my first issue. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move the camera here. I apologize if it gets unstable there for a little bit. Let's see here, get my uh, file back and I try not to touch the rails because of the, or both rails. But as you can see, on this uh, turnout, it's an Atlas number six. Everything works perfect. However, I did notice the other day that rail there is no longer secured to that. So every now and then when the trains run over it, I don't have an issue with the locomotives, but I do have issues with the cars. That rail moves just a bit and the cars derail. So taking that out, and went ahead and ordered me a Pico, so hopefully that'll be in sometime next week. And then I'll cut this section out and put that uh, new switch back in there. And as I go over here to this other issue, I'll show you guys so far. That's one of my lo newest locomotives, and it's a uh, DCC sound equipped. Um, gentleman that I got it from did not know what sound decoder it has in it. So I'm not sure if you guys can help me out with that, uh, how, you know, about going about finding out what uh, sound uh, decoder it has. Would be uh, greatly appreciated if you guys can. And uh, come over here to my other, my issue that I found this morning, or this afternoon actually after work. As you can see, got it here, got my feeder wires. Well, I noticed today that that feeder wire is no longer attached and I figured out why. This rail here had a lot of tension to it. It sprung and shifted towards the uh, back side there. So I noticed that because the train ran over it, ran fine. Then the cars, the very first car would derail. And, uh, and I was like, all right, no big deal. And then I started looking into it and I realized that this rail shifted. So um, I put a couple of these ties in there and uh, that's kind of where I, I need some help is because the ties that I've currently got in there are just uh, ties that were off the ends of the flex track that I've been using and all. And anybody that's used the flex track knows the way those the ties kind of you know clip on one end and then slide in on the other. And not really sure about how to go about getting those in there without taking the track back up and you know replacing those um 
to make this, you know, curve to put it back in an alignment and it at its exact width or gauge, if you will, so the car, the wheels don't uh, derail because of the uh, alignment issue there. Um, and I'm not sure, you know, I want to call that an alignment issue, but it gets, you know, very snug there. And then, so, and now, of course, some of you guys may be thinking, well, did he solder it? No, I, I didn't solder it like that. Um, I left it straight and then soldered it and come back and laid it um, probably about an hour later or so, just because of time issues. But, um, so I know what's happening. It's just this rail has popped a little bit that way because there's nothing here supporting it, keeping it aligned. Um, so any information or you know any help on that aspect would be greatly appreciated. Um, so take you down here and show you how the yard's starting to turn out. And I really like this one here. Um, I kind of did that. I did that last night, and I kind of wanted that wiggle in it to kind of give it more of a realism effect. Um, I like how it came out. Um, trains want, run perfect over it, so I'm very happy with it. Um, I was going to start doing this line tonight, but kind of stressed myself out, especially with these little issues. So I'm just like, yeah, no, let's not uh, let's not get into that tonight. So other than that. Um, you know, I was going to run the train around the track here, um, but now that I've got messing over there, I'm not sure if it will actually do it or not. So, you know, why not? What's it going to hurt? Let me just give you guys a little tour of the layout following the locomotive. Hopefully it doesn't derail there. It shouldn't it seem to be pretty stable there. Yeah, so I've got the adjustment there back. I just need to know a little bit more information there on those ties of what I can do and how to really secure those ties back to the track now. And I know I've still got some track cleaning to do because every now and then the locomotive kind of pauses and then picks back up again. So definitely, uh, definitely need to go back over everything and clean it. And I have been, but you know, every day I'm in here doing something, I'm creating dust and all. So Make sure that switch is, yep, good. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. I was making sure the switch wasn't uh, flipped and the train would derail there. But as you can see, it makes it pretty good. Um, I can run it all the way up to 28 or all the way down to 6 where it's at right now. And I apologize for the whole camera angle thing and all. Um, I'm still getting used to this. Um, I've actually got a tripod. I got it for Christmas. Um, I'm trying to get used to that. As you can see there, I'm adjusting. Um, other than that, um, definitely uh, get you guys' opinion on what to do there on those, uh, you know, after I cut those uh, ties out, um, especially on the curves, um, how I can keep it from flexing to where, you know, the rails are not no longer aligned and the wheels, um, you know, end up uh, derailing because of it. So um, other than that, uh, everything else is pretty much coming along. You know, by no means am I an expert, my first layout, um, but I am happy with it. Um, rooms for, uh, plenty of room for improvement. Um, and the bad thing is I'm already looking and planning 
you know, forward to my, uh, my next layout. Um, I'm even to the point now to where I'm not even sure I want to do scenery or anything else with this one because I may very well rip it back up and, you know, do something else. Um, I'm just not sure yet. Um, definitely going to leave it, leave it down for a few months, you know, operate it and slowly get into the scenery stuff, make sure everything's working, especially it being my first time. I'm definitely taking longer than what I've wanted to with this, um, but I'd rather do it right um, and, and correct these mistakes as they appear. Um, that way, you know, I, I can only improve. Um, so all in all, you know, it, everything's going pretty good so far. So like I say, please, you know, uh, any input, any advice, you know, um, constructive uh, criticisms welcome too. Um, just don't be too mean because you know I'll go in the bathroom and cry for hours. But other than that, um, thank you guys for watching. Um, this is probably my longest video, but hopefully they won't always be like this. But uh, anyway, um, stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks a lot, guys. Y'all have a good evening.